Hello everybody, Brad here today and welcome back to Project Hospital. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to have a quick look at how I would start out building a small clinic, which would eventually evolve into being a small hospital. So if you've recently got the game of Project Hospital and you're not sure how to start, I will show you the best way to start. So what you want to do is you want to go up here to building mode and you want to do what is set in the objective here, which is open an emergency clinic. Okay, so that's the first department. These are the departments down here. And that's the one that you want to start with. You want to start with emergency. Okay, and then you can start to progress onto these other ones. So we're on emergency. Let's go to building mode. And we can't just put some walls down. What we have to do first is build some foundations. So let's go ahead. It says here how much it costs to build one square of foundation and the size. That's a one by four, you can do three by three, so on and so on. So let's drag this out and we're going to build a very small clinic here just like so. Now here we have two types of floor. You can see that you have like this peachy coloured rectangle and then you have the paving stones. What you want to do is on the construction tab go over to constructions and floors and these are all of the walls that you can use I personally like to use a brick wall, but you can use whatever you want. You can just click and drag, and if you go down here and see show four wall, you can see that wall just there. So let's do brick on the outside walls, and obviously this wall here, and this one coming down here are going to be the inside ones. So let's just go with something simple, like so. You can change the colour here just by clicking on the different colours, and you can change the colour just like that if you wanted to. You can delete a wall by this button just here, delete walls. You can also build a boxed room by that button here, which is drag rectangular walls. Okay, and that'll build a room for you. It's worth noting that now they've actually added kind of four sides to the game. Is that the right word? But you know, you can turn around and you do have to paint every single side. Okay, that's something I always forget to do. So make sure you paint the backs of your walls. I normally stay in this view, so I don't tend to worry too much about that, but it's just something to think about. Right, so let's drop the walls back down. So this is a very basic shape. This is a very basic shape, and this is plenty big enough for a small clinic, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go over to doors and windows, and we're gonna pop in a large sliding double door. This is four tiles wide, and we're gonna pop that just there. If we go back to constructions and floors, and then place floors, we're gonna pop down a few more of these sort of paving paving slabs I assume they are really aren't they okay and then also in here what you have is you have pillars so you can put pillars in your hospital you have ambulances which we haven't unlocked yet but you can pop ambulances down in your parking lot and you have elevators okay right so emergency department because we've just started we need a few doctor's offices a waiting room that's what we need. We need doctor's office, waiting room and a restroom. As you can see, this is shown by a red zero. We have zero of these rooms, but we need this for emergency to function. Emergency as a department is not functioning yet because you can see this red triangle just here. We can also have reception, clean and closet, common room, corridor and a planner tool for elevators and those are shown by the green zeros, okay? So let's start with the things that we need. We need a doctor's office. This is the basic clinical room where a doctor sits in waiting for a patient to come by, okay? So let's say that this room here is gonna be a doctor's office. All we have to do is click on doctor's office and then drag it out here. The minimum size for this room is four by four, as you can see just there, but we've got a nice large six by six. So for this room, we can go back to building mode, doors and windows, and let's get a door. And we'll also get a couple of windows in there just like so. Now, what I think the easiest way to do this is now to go on to management mode. Go into management mode and click on the room you're building. And this will then show up all of the materials you need for that room to function. Because you can, as you can currently see, it's missing equipment and missing staff. So in this room, we need all of the things in Peach. Some things are, you just need one kind. For example, here there's a PC 
and a laptop. It doesn't mean we need a PC and a laptop, it just means we need either or. And then the ones in yellow are things that are sort of, they're suggested. For example, the tables and desks are in yellow because you need one of them for the PC or laptop to go on top of. So let's get out an office desk. We can rotate by clicking R on your keyboard. And the blue arrow, as you can see, coming out from the desk, that blue arrow is where the chair will go. So if we pop that down, and you can change the color here. If we pop a chair down, let's go for that office chair in red. If you hover over that blue arrow, look, it just defaults to being in the correct position. If you put it anywhere else, it's just red. Put it in there, it goes straight to blue, which is correct. You can pop it somewhere which turns yellow. If it's yellow, that means that item cannot be used by staff or patients. So if we placed that chair there, that will not be able to be used by staff or patients, okay? Let's just bulldoze that chair. And let's pop one in like that. Now what we need is a computer. So let's go and use a new item, which is the laptop. Again, as you can see everywhere else, it's just red. Cannot click it here, makes that noise at you, you can't put it anywhere. That blue arrow signifies that, it is, that you can put it there. So let's pop that down, that's cost $600. And now what happens here is some items will turn blue. What this is saying to us is that we're building a desk and it goes, oh, you're building a desk, you must need a chair at some point. We've already got a chair, but what we'll do is it'll highlight also items that you can pop down. So we could put down this type of office chair, or we could pop down a stool. But we have our office chair there, so we're golden. These items are now not orange, so we do not require those now. So, all we need to do is simply work our way through these orange items. So let's get in an exam table. Here we need either an examination lamp, which are very bulky and large, or we can get in the medical light. So let's get a medical light that again goes over the bed. You can see anywhere else in the room, not let me place it down, over the blue arrow, lovely jubbly. Now we need some equipment cabinets for our tabletop items, such as the audio meter and the CRP scan. Again, we could pop that down on the desk if we wanted to, but it looks better being on these equipment cabinets that are full of the little bits and bobs they need. Now we need either one of these two trash bins. Let's go for the red one. We're going for a red theme here. We use R to rotate that just there. Also, if we wanted, if I went to pick up this desk now, it would pick up everything. If I just want to pick up that laptop, all I have to do is hold down control and then I can pick up just the laptop, okay? So if you've ever got things on tables, just hold down control on your keyboard and you'll pick up the thing on the table itself. Now we need either a lab sink, a sink, a kitchen sink or the disinfectant dispenser. I like the disinfectant dispenser, so let's pop that down there. Then those have all gone away from orange and are now white. Now, on the desk, we need either a paper holder, a small printer, or one of these large printers. So again, new item in the game, let's go for the large printer. These new items are coming with a new DLC, Doctor Mode, in case anyone's wondering, that is a free DLC that you can download simply from Steam. The last item we need in the room is an eye test. So let's get this out and we'll get this somewhere like that. Now we've got quite a lot of room here, so let's get some extra bits in, like a whiteboard would be cool. We could get in a chair. If you pop in a chair in a doctor's office, that is where the patient will sit for their initial interview when they come into the department, okay? So I like to put some seats down because it means they can come in and we'll just stand up, they can sit down and be nice and comfortable. Let's also, we'll pop in a privacy screen somewhere like there. If they want to get changed, they can. And then again, you can just decorate your rooms however you wish with certain cabinets and obviously the bigger the room, the more space you have to put these sort of kind of bits down. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is show you there's furniture and accessories. So these are just random bits in the game, like bookshelves. There's certain bits you can just pop down just to make something look nicer, okay? So this is kind of all of the other bits that you can use. You can use just the bits for the doctor's office, or you can go into here and use all of these. If you want to do, you can put a toilet in there if you really wanted to. You probably don't, but you might want to. So the other thing is you have the decorations. These are really nice. These make a room. I don't mind these go yellow. Because it's just going on the wall, it means that a patient will not walk up to it and have that sort of animation of looking at it. 
but you'll still be able to see them on the wall okay so let's pop another one there and then I'll try and get one for you to see if it's white there you go because that's white a patient will be able to walk up to that now and look at it if they wanted to last but not least just get a trash bin in there so that's a really nice room that's a really that's a really solid room you know there's got lots of decoration in there lots of little bits to make it look really realistic now the only other things we have are outdoor materials so you could pop things outdoors if you wanted to and the other thing in this furniture equipment and decorations tab are decals so these are just stickers that you can put on outside of the walls so let's go let's get the doctor's office one we'll pop the walls up and as you can see here look we could put doctor's office and we could say that's doctor's office number one simple as right now what we need to do is do the floor for in here so let's go constructions and floors place floors now let's go i quite like a check i quite like a check floor somewhere like this okay so that's nice now up here these are different modes so this is kind of live mode game mode uh sort of reminds me of the sims you know you have like build buy and then live right so this is the game mode then you have the building mode which would go into place our initial room so walls windows doors floors then you've got doors and windows which we've already done then you've got the equipment tab so as i said this here this is just everything these are all of the clinical items in the game you could put an x-ray viewer in here if you really wanted to what we done is we went to management mode okay we went to management mode then clicked on the room to get all of the items we needed in management mode as you can see this was gray this room was colored gray it's now colored a nice blue that means that we have all of our items in that room okay and then last but not least you've got doctor mode that's a new function to the game where you can add doctors we haven't got any doctors yet we can add doctors and control their patients okay but we're focused on the on, on the other aspects of the game at the moment so we go back to management mode what we can now do is get in some staff okay so you, at the moment this is missing staff yeah that's telling us it's easy to see here doctor's office now has a green one next to it means we have one doctor's office however we still require a waiting room and a restroom and we need a doctor so this left column is in the day this right column is at night okay at the moment for emergency i'm just gonna go to day shift you can experiment with night shift i tend to not have too many doctor's offices for night time i prefer my clinic patients to come in in a day personally and then if they have to be hospitalized obviously that then goes into the night time so what else we have here is chief doctor so if i get in a member of staff we'll have a look at chief doctor in a moment we also have certainty this means what kind of certainty does a doctor need to have to diagnose a patient if they're 50 50 is that okay to me no you know i'd want a doctor to be kind of oof, i don't know at least 80 percent sure that they're right with what they're going to diagnose me with so you can just do that here just to say you need to be absolutely certain or yeah diagnose someone with anything and we'll they'll always come back if they need to but i tend to just leave this on medium so let's get in some staff so this is the night shift this is the day shift so let's go day shift so what it will do is when you click on a room it will automatically bring up the people that you can hire that can function in that room so if i click on a doctor's office it's not going to show me nurses for example okay so these this is the first page of candidates for doctor this has name it has their age sex it has their resident uh, their resident their level so you, whether they're an intern a resident a specialist attending so it's kind of the american format of doctors and then here you've got all sorts so you have a general medicine skill so this is obviously for doctors it means how good are they at general medicine so the best person here is carol wilson she has a general medicine score of 24 percent her acute medicine so how good is she at emergency medicine is nine percent and general diagnosis she's 18 percent in diagnosis so Robert Walker is actually slightly better at diagnosis, but he's lower in general medicine and is the same in acute medicine. It has the salary here. You have to be careful of salary because this game money doesn't last very long. So you have to be very careful of their salary. These specialists are expensive. And I'll show you how you can refresh the page in a sec. 
Now what you also have here are perks, okay? There are lots of different perks. For example, here we've got Hard Worker. Here we've got Night Owl, so Charles Brown works a lot more efficiently at night. You have Long Commute, so Paul Williams here will get into work slightly later. And he's also got Resistance, so his rest levels decrease slower. These have no other hidden perks. These are all of the perks that these doctors have. Carol Wilson and Charles Brown both have one hidden perk. We could see that by clicking this button here. Reveal hidden perks for $1,000. So if we click that button, we've now seen the hidden perks for Charles Brown and Carol Wilson. So Carol Wilson is actually an alcoholic and Charles Brown is a fast learner, okay? If we wanted to hire one of these people, all we have to do is click on whoever we want. So let's get in, I think we're gonna get in Robert Walker. That's it, done. If we go back onto game mode, he's there. Robert Walker's in, I click play, we're done. Okay, he's there. Now, as you can see, emergency down here is flashing at me. That's telling me your emergency department is not functioning. Why is that? So let's pause the game. We'll go back into management mode. And it's not working because we haven't got a waiting room or a rest room, okay? Now what we're going to do first is we're actually going to copy this room right here, okay? We're going to get another doctor's office. I would start off with two or three, see how it goes. If you need more, you can get more. And just so you know, emergency on the right hand side also has this hospitalization tab. So all of the departments, except from radiology and medical labs, will also have this hospitalization tab on the right. We're not going to worry too much about this. I'll actually try and do another video in the future about hospitalization. To copy a room, you have to go to building mode, go to prefabs, and then here you can find all different prefabs for your hospital. So you could, these are just rooms that you can place down and it's done. There's a waiting room, done. We could place down a reception, like that, done, okay? So if you want to go the easy way, you can just use these. These are normally more expensive because they normally use more materials than if you do them, if you do the rooms yourselves, okay? Now you can copy a room by this button just here. Copy, create a prefab. So we could copy that room just there could turn it around, pop it in that corner, there we go. We have one more doctor's office. We would obviously need to staff this doctor's office. We couldn't just leave that, we would have to place a doctor in there. And you can go through all of the departments and they have all the different rooms which you can simply place down if you do not want to build the rooms yourselves, okay? So the last room we need to build is a restroom. So let's get out our red wall. We're gonna go up here Actually, let's go along the line of the chairs. We'll go four, four by six. We need to place a door. So let's just get out a white door. Then we can place cubicles in a restroom. So if we go to management mode, and we're gonna set this out as a restroom. So we're gonna click on restroom for emergency. I'm currently on general surgery. So let's go emergency. And then it says we've got zero restrooms. So let's go restroom, drag it out. Click on management mode once more, click on the room, and now we can see all of the items that we need for this room to function. So we need at least one toilet. So we're gonna get toilets on this back wall just there. Let's get in three. Then we're gonna get in some sinks. Then over here, we're gonna get in some hand dryers. We'll get in a plastic camper for decoration and the bin. And we'll get some mirrors for our sinks. Now, this is probably not a great toilet. I would personally not want to go to the toilet with no cubicle walls between us. I'd want something there so no one's seeing me going to the toilet, personally. So what we can do is go to walls here, constructions and floors. Now there is a cubicle or a rest room, rest room wall. If you click on that, it actually drags out a cubicle wall for you. The little gap at the bottom. So we can put all these toilets in their own little their own little cubicles and we can put on some cubicle doors wc door in red just like so that's the restroom done so floors in here we're going to have some white tiles so we're going to go wood everywhere actually i think just like that the reception might be something a bit different so let's have a look if we go back to game mode we can have a look at it 
I've had a notification say that our hospital now accepts patients, so we've done everything that we need to do for this hospital to function. However, there are a couple bits we still need to do. We need to hire a doctor for this room just here, and we need to hire a receptionist. Now, doctor for over here, what we could do is we could refresh this list for £2,500, and that refreshes the list for us, so we see a whole new list of people. Also, we can create our own character. So this goes into the character editor, it costs £10,000, but you can create your own doctor with their own perks and everything. This is a new feature of the Doctor Mode DLC. Today we're just going to get in one of these doctors here, and we're going to get in someone random. You can see how expensive the fellows are, let's get in an attending, let's get in Fraser. Chief Doctor is going to be Fraser White. He's the best doctor that we have, when we click on this we can hover over these. He's ranked 3. Do you see below where it says attending? He has three out of five doctor icons. That means he's three out of five. Whereas Robert Walker's two out of five. So Fraser White's going to be our chief doctor. It just means the doctors have a little bit of leadership. They have a little bit of leadership behind them. And if they have any problems, they can go straight to Fraser. Now, if we were carrying on here, what we would do is we'd get in a cleaning closet and some janitors. We might get in a common room for our staff to rest in. But what we could do is we could go here and we'll just get in a prefab of the common room wherever it is there we go common room and we'll, just, we'll get that down there just like so, so that's a common room done and i'm just going to get in a new floor just so it's not exactly the same as everywhere else so now we've got a common room the doctors can come down here and they can just chill out now a receptionist again management mode click on reception and here we go so we're just going to get in one receptionist for the moment so they require this skill here receptionist so we're going to get in Barbara Clark. She's pretty good. She's a hard worker. Barbara, you're in. Now it's also worth having these areas, these grey areas here, set as corridors. This means they are higher on the priority list for janitors to clean. So let's just go down here. We'll overlap so it's all one big corridor. Just like so. And then they will be cleaned by our janitors. We haven't got any at the moment. That's absolutely fine. It's also worth noting that for a waiting room, if you do not have the queue machine, this thing just here, the doctors will come out of their rooms and they will call for patients. That means there's a little bit of time for that doctor to walk over to the waiting room and to call a patient. It's quicker if you use, if you use these queue machines. This means that when a patient comes in, they will get a ticket from this queue machine and they will then wait. And when a number comes up on this info TV, which has gone blue, because I've placed the queue machine down, it now wants to be placed on an info TV. And once a number comes up on the info TV, they will automatically walk to the doctor's room where they need to go. Okay? So that's a little tip for you. They're really, really handy, these queue machines. Okay, so the last few bits I wanted to show you were just these bits here. So you have things like it opens up the patient table, so when we get patients coming in, this will show you all of the patients. This here shows you the employees that we have, and you can sort of sort by janitors, technologists in the labs, or nurses, or doctors. This here sets the uniform, so you can change the uniform for each department. So this is just for emergency. What you can also do is click this button here, which automatically takes over patients. So basically what this means is if you're in doctor mode, you'll say to all patients, I want to, I want full control of the patients. I don't want the doctors to make any decisions, I want to make the decisions. That's up to you. It's quite fun. It's quite fun to spend an hour or two just in that doctor mode, just looking at the symptoms people are coming in with and thinking of treatments for them. So let's turn that off. And then the last thing is to close the department. You could close the department, send everyone home. I don't know why, yeah, if you wanted to do drastic renovations, anything like that. I've never used that. So I hope that helps and I hope that gives you all the knowledge you need to know to open up your clinic. Let's just fast forward time here. Please comment down below if you have any questions or if you want to request any more tutorials about Project Hospital and I will do my very best to make one for you. I really hope you enjoyed the game. Good luck if you've just bought it. And I hope this video really helps you get into grips with the game for the first time. I hope you have a great day, guys, and I'll see you later.
Thank you very much for watching the video guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. Please consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel down below if you haven't done so already. And please feel free to follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Have a great day, see you later.